Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Yahweh, Chachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahushai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahushai. I like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Razakah from the servants of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much uh, this lesson is going to be titled as Babylon Will Be Destroyed. All right. And uh, we're going to get some examples out, you know, and uh, we're going to get some scriptures out on this type of, on this subject here. So Lord Wah this lesson is edifying. This is uh, Malachi 4 and 1. It's Malachi 4 and 1. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly. Right. There's going to be a rude awakening coming to this place. All right. It says, Yea, and all that do wickedly. It says, Shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. So if you don't repent, you so-called, beginning with you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you guys don't repent and come out of the ways of this society, this American system, this American dream that you call it, you're going to be destroyed. You want to repent and seek your true power, who is Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahushai. All right, Yahweh is the one true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. That's your true power. You want to serve the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You want to repent and separate yourselves from this society, of the world of this philosophy. All right, because this world has false philosophies. All right, and our people is embedded in those philosophies. False doctrine, the false philosophies. All right, so you want to come out of this place called America because it's going to be destroyed. All right, and you don't want to be caught in that destruction. It says that it shall leave them neither. It says leave them neither root nor branch. Verse two, it says, but unto you that fear my name, see those that fear the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashai, shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Verse three. And ye shall tree down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. So the Lord is going to intensify his judgment. And the Lord is going to make his judgment on this place called America. So if you are so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indian, you need to repent as the scriptures commands us to do so. Because if you don't repent, this is what's going to be your judgment. All right, and this is Second Peter chapter 3, and we're going to start at verse 9. It says, For the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So you want to repent. You want to, you know, while we're in this temporary grace period, you want to repent, and you want to be growing in this truth, and, you know, being diligent, you know, and showing yourself worthy in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Shai as much as possible. Because if not, this is what's going to happen to you. Verse 10, that day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, which goes to Luke chapter uh, 21, verse 34 through 35. You don't want to get caught on the unawares, all right, which is that snare, the cares of this life. You know, because our people is focused on this this world. They focus in being here and being successful here. No, you should be sacrificing all this BS that's here because what's on the other side is way precious and better than what you have here. Because this shit that you got with you here, you can't take with you. All right. So you want to be focused on the Lord Yahweh by Shemashai. Scriptures say in uh, uh, Colossians three and two, set thy affections on the things above, not on the things of the earth. And the scriptures also say, when you go into uh, Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. So that's where you sh your mind should be focused on. All right. Not 
the things of this world because you will be caught on the unawares. The Lord will come as a thief in the night. It says, in which the heavens shall pass away and a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, which is the nuclear missiles. All right. It says the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up and you're going to be destroyed because this place called America is going to be destroyed with thermonuclear fire. And if you are Jake that's embedded in this society and don't believe that this isn't going to happen, well, it's going to happen regardless if you believe it or not. And let's see what the scriptures say in Second Chronicles 15, 13, because those of you that do not seek the Lord and get this truth, this is what's going to be your judgment. Second Chronicles fifteen thirteen that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel, who's the Lord power of Israel? Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Yah means He. Yahweh means to be exists. He is. Bahashem coming in the name. Yahweh Shai. Yah means He. Yahweh Shai means Savior or Deliverer. So you want to seek the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Why you still can? All right. Read from the top. Second Chronicles fifteen thirteen that whosoever will not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. You're gonna be destroyed. It says, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So if you're not repenting and you are an Israelite, a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian, man and female, and you don't repent and you don't come out of the ways of this society and you stay embedded in this society and be wanting to be the successful person here and your mind isn't focused on the Lord, you're going to die. The Lord is going to kill you. And the Lord does kill according to 1 Samuel 2 and 6 and also Deuteronomy 32, 39 and also Proverbs uh, 16 and 4 and also Isaiah 45 verse 5 through 6. All right. So the Lord does kill and you will be put to death if you don't repent and you don't want to be destroyed. All right. Because the Lord will destroy you. All right. And he is going to destroy this place called America with thermonuclear fire. And this is Isaiah 66 and verse 15. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Verse 16. For by fire and by his sword, which is the nuclear missiles, will the Lord plead with all flesh. It says, And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Many Israelites are going to be destroyed. All right. Many people are going to be slain. All right. The slain of the Lord shall be many. A lot of Israelites are going to be destroyed on this end, but they're going to be brought back in the kingdom through the elect because the elect is going to be saved and the, the elect is going to have to bring back the two thirds. All right. And the only way the, the elect is going to be brought back. I mean, not the elect, but the two thirds will be brought back is through the elect. All right. Because uh, 144,000 is a very small number. That's not a lot. That's few. All right, two thirds is a lot of Israelites that got to be destroyed. All right, but this is prophecy. This is what is uh, due to come. All right, and this is Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, anytime you see Lord in caps talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, behold, I will rise up against Babylon, which is America, and against them that dwell in the midst of them. See, those that's embedded in it. It says that rise up against me a destroying wind and you're going to be destroyed. That's talking about the nuclear missiles. Verse two, it says, and will send and it says, and will send onto Babylon fanners that shall fan her, which is going into the mushroom cloud and shall empty her land for the day of the Lord shall be against her roundabout. And this is those roundabouts is talking about those heathen nations. You got North Korea, you got China, you got Japan, you got Russia. You got Iran. You got all these other foreign countries that's going to rise against America. All right. They're going to rise against America. They see how weak America has become. And all of this is leading into World War Three, which is in the Bible. You know, this is leading into World War Three. All right. Now, I want to bring that out because World War Three is in the Bible. It's a little quick hitter. This is uh, Revelations 11 and 14 because World War Three is in the Bible. This is World. War, this is this is Revelation eleven and three, eleven and fourteen. Revelation eleven and fourteen. The second war is past. What's the second war? World War Two. World War One is in the Bible too. When you go and you read and uh, believe it's Revelations, uh, the up the beginning of Revelations chapter nine that talks about uh, World War One. When you read up above from uh, Revelations chapter nine, it goes into. World War One and World War Two is in the Bible. The first war was passed. The second war is World War Two. 
It says, Behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And that's talking about World War III. So World War III is in the Bible. It just ain't happened yet. All right. And all of this is leading into what? Prophecy. So the Lord can come back. All right. So, hey, man, this place called America is going to be destroyed with thermonuclear fire. And you don't want to be that individual. So stay focused on your Haobashi Mashai. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.